extremely optimistic. It has been three long, agonizing days for the family of Michelle Yu. We just want her to know that we really care about her. And we want home. The 18-year-old grade 12 student from York Mills Collegiate has been missing since Tuesday, gone without a trace. Her family and friends can't even begin to think where she might be. Michelle, we all love you. You, you become very strong. We all support you. And if anyone has Michelle out there and is seeing this, can you please release her so that she could come home to us, to her family who, and friends who all love her very much and care very much about her. Michelle left school at around 2.30 in the afternoon that day. She was supposed to meet her friend at 3 and go to a girl guide meeting, only she didn't show. At this point, there's little to go on except for this security image of Michelle taken a few hours later. It shows her taking money out of a TD Canada Trust bank machine on Bay Street downtown at around 6 p.m. What happened after that is a mystery. She was acting very normal. She's a very popular young lady involved in many community activities, involved in, in oh, everything in the school. Her friends spent the past few days handing out her photo. If people see her face, if she can see, you know, what we're doing, or if people see her face because, you know, we don't know what situation she's in. Investigators are looking at all the possibilities, her being abducted, her running away. Only Michelle's family doesn't believe she would do that. Her father has this simple message for his daughter. Stay stronger, come back safe. Now, at many points during the press conference, it became very emotional for the family, uh, an emotional appeal to the public, to Michelle, if she is watching, to the person who may be responsible, if that is in fact the case. What is also very troubling is the fact that Michelle has a heart condition. She has not had her medication for three days. Now, this is the post of the photo of Michelle that the friends have been distributing over the past few days downtown in the neighborhood. They even distributed it at the Blue Jays game last night. They are trying to do anything to locate the young woman. And I know this goes without saying, but if anyone watching this has any information, they're being asked to contact Toronto police immediately.